Hey guys, uh, welcome to another not quite episode of Wolfpack Plays. Ow, ow. I just wanted to give you a quick update on me, uh, as well as get your weeks and how your week is going, hear from you guys, and update you on our Love Dare endeavor for Lent. So I guess uh, quickly start off, uh, my week has probably been about a four. It's been a really rough week. For those of you who don't know, I have a heart condition and it's been acting up this week. My blood pressure has been shooting up and coming down it's been making me pass out uh, so I've a normal average person has a blood pressure that has it's a it, I don't know what it means but it looks like 120 over 80 my blood pressure this week has been up around 160 over 110 so I've I've been not doing so hot but I appreciate all of the well wishes I've been getting in my email in the comments it's been fantastic I appreciate the support the only reason this week hasn't been a one is because uh, I had a really great Monday and Tuesday teaching, loved the kids in my classroom. I sincerely apologize to them for not being there Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Um, I shouldn't even actually be out of bed. I'm just doing this because I want you guys to know that I do care about you and I miss you guys and I look forward to seeing you on Monday once I'm back up in better shape. By the way, don't kill the subs. Be good kids. Moving on from there. Uh, want to hear about your guys' weeks. How has your weeks been? Um, leave it in the comments down below. Let me know. Rate your weeks 1 through 10. Tell me why. I'd love to talk with you and have a conversation about how your week has been and why. And I just, I like hearing from you guys. You're all fantastic people. On top of that, uh, there has been some really cool things that have happened this week that I will update you about on the channel uh, once I'm able. We're going to be starting our Let's Play series again next week will be cool. I've got some new stuff that I want to show you and I look forward to sharing that journey with you. Now on to the big part, our update on our Love Dare uh, Lenten commitment. So every day I am due to this is a 40 day commitment book uh, to do good things and do dares basically essentially to show that your spouse or a loved one that you care about them that you love them. So I'll go over this past weeks real quick let you guys know how I've been doing on my commitment. So real quick, uh, day four was last Saturday. Um, so love is thoughtful. How precious also are your thoughts to me. How vast is the sum of them. If I should count them, they would outnumber the sand. Psalm 139, 17 through 18. The day or that day, and I'm not reading, there's a chunk of basically a devotional in between to talk about uh, you, your loved one, and how these guys can come together with God. So that day's dare was contact your spouse sometime during the business of the day. Have no agenda other than asking how she, he or she is doing and if they, you could do anything for them. Uh, I was at a Catholic men's conference last Saturday, but I texted her and just to see how she was doing. She was down in North Carolina visiting family, and she went out with her brothers to the Duke-UNC game and watched UNC win, so that was cool because I hate Duke. She wound up having a pretty good day, and I did too, so that was a good one. Day five was last Sunday. That was Love is Not Rude. He, who blesses his friend with a loud voice early in the morning, it will be reckoned a curse to him. Nothing irritates others as quickly as being rude, basically. The dare for that day was ask your spouse to tell you three things that cause him or her to be uncomfortable or irritated with you. You must do something, do so without attacking them or justifying your behavior. This is from their perspective only. Sarah was out of town that day and I figured it would be better to do that in person. I've been bad and haven't gone back to redo that one, so that's pending. Uh, I can catch you guys up next week when I actually do that one. Day six was Monday. That was love is not irritable. He who is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he who rules his spirit than he who captures a city. Proverbs 16, 32. The day or that day was choose today to start reacting to tough circumstances in your marriage with love instead of irritation. Begin by making a list below of all the areas where you need to add a margin to your schedule, then list any selfish motivations you need to release from your life. So I said, I do need to work on my schedule. I work two jobs. You, a lot of you guys know that. So I need to be making time for Sarah and to develop our relationship. Big things are Mondays. I don't want to be sleeping all day. I know I've been bad about streaming on Mondays. Well, I've been bad about hanging out with her Mondays too. I've just been sleeping because I've been so tired. So I need to make sure that once she's home, that I'm awake, I'm aware, I'm engaging with her. Wednesdays I should probably set aside for just us time just so that we have a day to really come together as a couple and spend time together. Sundays need to, mass needs to be a priority. I need to be making a priority to be going to mass and also holding her accountable to do the same. Day 7, Tuesday, love believes the best. Love believes all things, hopes all things. 1 Corinthians 13, 7. 
Okay, so for today's dare, get two sheets of paper. On the first one, spend a few minutes writing out the positive things about your spouse, then do the same thing with the negative things on the second sheet. Place both sheets in a secret place for another day. There's a different purpose and plan for each. At some point during the remainder of the day, pick a positive attribute from the first list and thank your spouse for demonstrating this characteristic. So some of you also died, have had panic attacks in the past. Uh, Sarah has been really, really awesome at helping me through those. So I just thanked her that day for being so caring and so thoughtful and so gentle and just being really there for me when I have those attacks. Um, also, when I'm going through things or if I'm going through a tough time, she's just always there for me. And I know she calls me her rock a lot of the time, but a lot of the, when, a lot of the time she's mine too. We really just hold each other stable in the sea of rough waves that is life. Wednesday, day eight. Love is not jealous. Love is as strong as death. It's jealousy unyielding as the grave. It burns like a blazing fire. Song of Solomon 8.6. That day's dare said, determined to become your spouse's biggest fan and to reject any thoughts of jealousy. To help set your heart on your spouse and focus on their achievements, take yesterday's list of negative attributes and discreetly burn it. Then share with your spouse how glad you are about a success or blessing he or she recently enjoyed. Just to show that I burned that page, I also burned the corner of that page in the book, too, to kind of signify, look, yes, I did burn this, this thing that I created. All these negative thoughts no longer exist. Not hard to burn the list. I'm a bit of a pyro, so poof, it was gone. So my wife got a new job back in October, and she's been doing super, super well at it. She's been hitting her goals, which has been fantastic. So I just texted her and said, hey, look, I'm really proud of you, your new job. I'm sorry I haven't said it enough, but I really am proud that you are doing so well and that you're succeeding, that you're loving your new job. Thursday was day nine. That was love makes good impressions. Greet one another with a kiss of love. First Peter, First Peter 5.14. The dare that day was think of a specific way you'd like to greet with your spouse. Do it with a smile and with enthusiasm, then determine to change your greeting to daily reflect more love for them. So when I saw Sarah on Thursday when she got home, gave her a big hug and just held her there for a minute because usually when we greet each other it's just a quick hug maybe a peck on the cheek but I gave her a big hug make sure to hold her and then kissed her forehead instead of on the mouth and told her you are infinitely precious to me she really liked that she thought it was really sweet finally today we're to Friday love is unconditional God determines his own love towards us and that while we were yet sinners Christ died for us Romans 5 8 so today's dare I've already done this one too do something out of the ordinary today for your spouse, something that proves to you and to them that your love is based on your choice and nothing else. Wash your car, clean the kitchen, buy their favorite dessert, fold the laundry, demonstrate your love for them in the sheer joy of being their partner in marriage. Now, like I said, my blood pressure has been up and down and I feel awful. I really, like doctor's orders, I'm supposed to be in bed all day. But after she left this morning, I got my butt up out of bed and cleaned up the downstairs apartment, did the dishes, took out the trash, Almost, like literally, I think I actually did pass out once this morning and I just fell over unconscious because I just felt so sick. But I worked through it and I cleaned up the apartment for her because I love her and that's part of my Lenten commitment. That's part of me giving this up to God to make sure that she really knows that I love her. So I really hope she appreciates that. Well, that's all we've got for this week's update, this week's vlog. I hope you guys are doing great and hope you guys are doing well. And I can't wait to read about your weeks, especially you guys out there that I haven't seen this week, my students, because I know I've missed a little bit of it. And again, I apologize for that. But uh, if you guys can leave a like, if you like this video, share it with your friends if you dig it. And if you want to join our wolf pack, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you're in. We'd love to have you. So I will see you guys later this weekend. I think I'm going to have another video up tomorrow kind of detailing some of the cool things that happened this week. So stay tuned for that. The streams just until I'm up on my feet, maybe a little few and far between, but I will have videos up next week, I promise. So love you guys. I'll see you on the next episode of Wolfpack Plays. Ah, ah,